Students taking the AP Spanish Language and Culture exam will need to record audio during the speaking test. Students will save one audio file to a flash drive that they bring with them on exam day and College Board says it must be one single audio file. The simplest program to use to record sound is already built into the student laptop and uses the internal microphone. We used it last year and the sound quality was great even with 20 students all speaking in the room at the same time. My suggestion is to practice recording yourself with QuickTime audio recording. The only tricky part to know ahead of time is that you'll need a shortcut to pause your recording while you wait for the next speaking prompt. Again, you'll need to record one single file so you cannot press stop and then start again. So that will create multiple files and might cause College Board not to score any submissions. So we're going to practice finding the hidden pause button in the QuickTime audio recordings. If the QuickTime player is not already in your dock, then you can easily search for it in the spotlight at the top of your computer. Type in QuickTime and it should come up It's either a top hit or applications. If it doesn't, then you can keep typing. So when you open QuickTime Player, you get the menu choices up here and we're going to go to File, New Audio Recording. And it brings up our little screen. Your recording window should be open and if you make some sound, you'll see it's Recording here, you can monitor your volume, and that should be just fine. Make sure that this volume button is all the way down. You don't want to bring it up here, because then you'll experience that feedback sound, and that's no good. So try recording a few seconds by clicking on the red record button, and then press stop. But remember, the only time you're going to press stop is when the test administrator tells you at the end of the speaking prompts. We'll come back to saving your file a little later. So we're just going to practice recording. And so you can see as you're recording, your voice is being monitored here. And the time is moving over here. And when you go to stop, it will tell you that it's finished and it will prompt you to play it back. So let's go ahead and do that. And so you can see as you're recording, your voice is being monitored here. And the time is moving over here. And when you go to stop, and it's already stopped. So again, you don't want to press stop during your exam, so we're going to quit that. And it's going to ask me if I want to save it. We're going to say no. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. So we're going to make a new one, new audio recording. And this time we're going to practice the pause button. So the way that we have to find the pause button is that on your keyboard, and I'll show you a picture over here, on your keyboard we need to find this option button. It's right over here. It's called Alt or option. That's the button we're going to press and at the same time you're going to press on the trackpad and you'll see what happens. So go ahead and find that on your keyboard and you're going to practice holding that down and the trackpad at the same time in just a minute. So we're going to again press the red recording button and then we're going to record. We can see that our voice is being monitored here our time is still ticking here, and now I'm going to hold down my Option button and click the trackpad and watch what happens. We've got this little pause option here. If I let go of the Option button, it goes back to just waiting for me to tell it to stop. Again, I'm going to press the Option button, and I'm going to have the option to pause it in just a minute. So now I'm going to click my trackpad. Oops. Okay, see, that's what we don't want to happen. So let me get rid of that. Don't save it. Okay, file, new audio recording. I'm going to go ahead and start recording. And then I'm holding down the option button. I'm going to click it once. Okay, so instead of the stop button, you'll see that it's red and it's ready for me to start recording again. My time has stopped ticking, but my voice is still recording. And during the test, I'm going to hear them tell me something that I'm supposed to respond to. When I'm ready to respond to the second prompt, I'm going to go back up and I'm just going to click record again. And it's going to continue. And you can see the time is ticking here. And so blah, 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 you record. And I'm going to hold the option button. And when I'm ready, I'm going to pause it. And I just clicked. And there we go. So you'll do this a number of times. And then when you're finished, it will turn into the stop button. So you can go ahead and pause this video right now and practice on your own. Don't save. When you're ready to continue, your teacher will, or you on your own, can watch this again and you can just press play. But I'm just gonna wait for you right here. Okay, so now you should be comfortable 
clicking the option button to give you an option to pause it instead of just stopping it and picking up and recording the second part and pausing and recording. So on test day, you're going to record your AP number first. There's going to be a part in the test where you just practice and make sure everything's working properly. You're going to record your AP number that you're going to get during the pre-registration session. So for today, we're just going to pretend your AP number is 123456. And so you're going to practice saying my AP number is 123456. And then we're going to actually save that one this time. So I need to go and open my QuickTime player again. File new audio recording and I'm going to practice saying my AP number. My AP number is 123456. Okay, it's been paused and then I'm going to unpause it and I'm going to pretend that I'm responding in Spanish to whatever it is that they asked me to say and then I'm going to be finished with it and then I'm instead of pausing because now in the directions it tells me to stop I'm going to click stop. Okay, so again, I know that it's completely stopped because I get this, this play indicator right here. So now I'm going to save my file, and I'm going to save it in two ways. I can do it two ways. I can either close it out, or I can go up to File, Save, or I can try and close it out. And it's going to, either way, I'm going to get this, this window. Do you want to save the changes? Yes, you do. And you want to save it to a flash drive, which I don't have in my computer at the moment but we'll just pretend. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you keep this extension here, .m4a. That's an Apple um, audio file and we need to keep it that way and our technicians will change it to an mp3 for you. You don't need to worry about that part, but you do need to title it differently. So you're going to get rid of the untitled and you're going to title it with your AP number. So for today our pretend number is 123456 dash and then your last name. This will help them find it and burn it to a CD for you easily. And if you can do that, it makes life a lot easier for the people who are working on your behalf. So again, record it, save it as your AP number dash your last name, just your first last name if you have two last names. Keep the dot M for A. And where you're gonna save it, not in your documents, you're gonna have a flash drive somewhere. And I'll just quickly plug one in so that you can see. Hopefully it will but you're going to save it to a flash drive that you need to bring with you and this will make it easier to get off of your laptop. You're not allowed to save your doc your audio files onto your laptop and you have to erase anything that we have recorded before you can leave the test session. So we're going to I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where the flash drive is. It's not really though up, but here it is. Here's the flash drive. It's named properly. I'm going to save it. And then what you should do is go to your flash drive and make sure that it's there. And you can even play it back. I would suggest you do that. My AP number is 123456. Okay, so that opened up an iTunes. And I, I'm going to pretend that I'm responding iTunes, in Spanish. And you can quit out of iTunes after you're finished playing with it. Okay, so at this point your technicians will come over and make sure that it's working properly before they bring the flash drive to the test administrator who needs to save all of them so that we can burn them again to CD for you. We're just trying to save you some steps and make sure that we get everything recorded properly. So I'm going to go ahead and eject the flash drive and then that's when the technician will come and get it for you. So that's how you'll record your speaking part of the AP Spanish Language and Culture exam. Follow the directions of your test administrator on exam day and good luck.